Max Frisch was not only a novelist and playwright, but also a diarist. He kept a series of sketchbooks, where he recorded his thoughts, observations and experiences in a fragmentary and experimental way. The sketchbooks are different from his novels and plays in terms of style, content and purpose. In terms of style, the sketchbooks are more personal, spontaneous and informal than his novels and plays. They do not follow a linear narrative or a coherent plot, but rather present a collage of impressions, reflections and questions. They are also more playful and humorous, as Frisch experiments with different forms of writing, such as dialogues, questionnaires, aphorisms and scenarios. In terms of content, the sketchbooks cover a wide range of topics, from politics and culture to travel and love. They also reveal Frisch's inner struggles with his identity, his relationships and his role as a writer. Unlike his novels and plays, which often deal with fictional characters and situations, the sketchbooks are more autobiographical and authentic. They show Frisch's reactions to the events of his time, such as the Second World War, the Cold War and the student movements. In terms of purpose, the sketchbooks are not meant to be finished works of art, but rather tools for self-exploration and self-expression. They are not written for an audience, but for himself. They are not intended to provide answers, but to raise questions. They are not meant to be definitive statements, but to be revised and contradicted. They are not meant to be closed systems, but to be open-ended and incomplete. Reading the sketchbooks of Max Frisch was a transformative experience for me. It made me question my own assumptions and beliefs about human nature, society, and morality. Frisch was not just a writer, but a thinker, a philosopher, a critic, and a seeker of truth. He used his sketchbooks as a tool for self-exploration, self-interrogation, and self-expression. In his sketchbooks, Frisch did not shy away from confronting the most difficult and controversial topics of his time and of all time. He wrote about politics, war, violence, religion, art, literature, love, sex, death, and more. He challenged himself and his readers to examine their own prejudices, biases, values, and choices. He asked provocative questions that have no easy answers.